Taurus, hi, welcome to your read. I will be doing a general read for you. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate with you, just remember, um, congratulations, you graduated Tarot World. You don't need a Tarot read. This message is meant for someone else, okay? Stop being selfish. <laughs> okay, Taurus. You got a card that slipped out. No, I don't want to take it. Taurus. I feel like with the two full moons in Aquarius for you, Taurus, you have to let go of control about a lot of situations. If it's not materializing or it's not happening, just let go of control. I feel like as soon as you let go is as soon as it comes back to you, before I even throw a card here. We'll see if this reads about. The energy is the magician. Yeah, you know what I said? We're manifesting here. We're going to manifest some shit tonight. That's, we're manifesting something tonight. If you're a Taurus watching this, you want to manifest something. And I feel it's a lot of new love or something. Here. Yeah, I feel like this might be new love. You want to manifest, or if you're already in a connection, you're trying to manifest something better for the relationship. The challenge for that is the fool taking a leap of faith. And I do feel like this fool is a cha challenging because we're talking about not making bold moves to get to that picture that we have manifesting inside of our head you know for example you know i want a trip to hawaii with my husband okay um i think right now is not the time to pressure that say i want to go to hawaii especially with what we got going on in the world right and especially with um you know, maybe things might not financially be there and that might actually scare somebody or that might make somebody feel pressured. You know, my examples are so bad. Don't listen to my examples. <laughs> Let's see here. The underlying energies have to say five of coins. You, I do feel like you feel maybe a little left out. You feel a little bit left out in the cold. That's okay, Taurus. Taurus, do you feel like crying? You can cry with me. Do you want to cry? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, in the past, victory. So there was definitely something heated that started here, and I feel it was really good. It felt victorious. felt felt really good and it's coming from a space that maybe publicly you are being seen with somebody you're being seen with somebody a lot in the public lately and it feels good it feels like something you did manifest in the past next to this magician yeah i definitely feel you manifested the partner you're with right now taurus or you're manifesting something that felt like a past victory Your strength is nine of wands. You've definitely been through it. And I do feel that you're still going through it, but you're ready to take on something that's coming your way now. That's a lot of love you got to give out to as well, you know? I feel like it's not just you guarding your heart, Taurus. I feel like it's it's you guarding your heart and trying to guard the relationship you do have or the connection you have here. In the future, King of Wands, there might be a fire sign here in your future or somebody with heavy fire placements. Whoa, I just got lightheaded and my third eye just started opening up, flickering. I don't know what that was. When I said fire sign. Um, yeah, you have a lot of Aries and Leo here. They might have an Aries moon.
there is definitely something tangible here in the future energy of whatever this is there is definitely something tangible something you can hold on to and i do feel like the other party has already made up their mind about where they want to go with this as well i think that it's about not controlling the situation right now though For some of you single Tauruses, you may have had a lot of options, by the way. And that could be putting you in that guarded state as well, or maybe in a in a state of mind where you can't make up your mind. But I do feel that you've been patient. Uh, you get the Emperor card here in your hopes and fears and the Knight of Wands in your future. Um, there is definitely some sort of Aries here for somebody. I'm sorry I'm calling out one sign. It's just... You have Magician, the Fool, and the Emperor. That's and the King of Wands, Knight of Wands. There's a lot of fire. A lot of fire magic is what I'm hearing going on for you, Taurus. So um, definitely think about your manifestations, how you want that to happen. I feel like maybe uh, because you have this temperance with the Seven of Cups, is your manifestations need to be a little bit more clear as to where you want to go in the future. Um, because I do feel like there are going to be talks eventually and you need to have your, you need to have your stuff ready. I'm really sorry. I'm getting really light. I don't know what it is with earth signs. You guys are driving me nuts. When I do Cappy's read, it doesn't happen. But when it happens with Virgo, Taurus specifically, you guys are, I don't know. In your hopes and fears, you have the Emperor here. There could be somebody older in your energy here that you have a lot of hope for, that you have a hope that they come through for you again. I'm getting specifically again, because maybe there was a victory here in your past too as well. And you want that to be reproduced, but on a higher level, not the king level, but the emperor level. You want this person to show up for you like an emperor. And I say, yeah, that is going to happen if you keep that in your hope and your manifestations. Uh, Knight of Wands, there is definitely somebody moving away from you. But I feel that they still carry the same passion for you. Normally, I don't get that out of Knight of Wands, but you have too many good cards supporting this king here for me to say that this is in out energy i'm not saying that and i'm not going to call it out like that um if you want to go ahead and look at the meaning of the card or you go to another tarot channel and they say leave this player whatever this is all that's in your future no it doesn't work like that the cards are just cardboard this is my intuition telling you okay you're here on this channel subscribed watching because you want messages from the intuitive not a piece of cardboard okay but i'm saying somebody might be moving or there might be movement in this relationship for you in the future here i'm saying this is a very good sign this is a very good card i'm feeling not so much some people might say no oh, uh, it's the knight of wands no i'm getting good energy off this knight of wands i'm feeling very good off it's giving me a good feeling a good let's explore things together you know, because it might not come off like a marriage in the manifestation, but it'll come off like, uh, you know, we have a good medium type level relationship. Boyfriend, girlfriend, you stay at your house, I stay at my house. We get together on the weekends, we take a little trip, we get back together. I see something stable here for you, Taurus, and I feel that that comes in with manifestation, especially with these two uh, Aquarian full moons in between it. I mean, really lose control not lose control don't do that but if you party you want to lose control go ahead by all means but i'd say with this area as aries i say with this magician card and the general energy go ahead and picture what that ultimate future looks like and then let go of control definitely want to let go of that control between here and the next aquarian full moon there okay so i'm going to pull three cards from the universe and we'll end your read. But um, I originally had an Oracle deck I was going to pull out for you guys tonight. But I forgot. And I didn't do it for one sign. I'm not going to do it for the rest. So Let's 
see what we get here. You already got two jumpers. Take them. And we'll take the bottom. Ten of wands, three of coins, and the four of cups. Yeah, this is definitely letting go of control and realizing that the people around you want to build with you. And that's trying to look like you're satisfied, but you're really not satisfied. So maybe there has to be that adult conversation coming up. I do feel that there is a conversation coming up, but I feel that when you approach this conversation it's not about controlling the outcome it's not about saying well if you don't do this i'm definitely going to break up with you i mean that's that's immature that's that's dumb um you know or this if you feel like ghosting somebody's going to get you the ultimate result um sorry it's not going to happen not this week at least um this week it's about Dropping uh, the pain, dropping, uh, you know, dropping the control. You know, that's what I've been telling you. Drop control and have positive talks about the future and how you plan to build with somebody. And just realize that you can't have everything your way, Taurus. But at the same time, take it one cup at a time. And realize there's always next week and maybe it'll be a better week for you but I, I really think just lose control controlling the issues and try to find complacency just trying to uh, compromise compromise with other people around you other energies here anyways Taurus that was your read I guess I'll see you next week